cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. It is tax season, and that means some of you can expect a 1099 form to arrive in your mailbox. An Odessa woman received three mysterious 1099 S's, total, uh, 1099s, I should say, totally more than a million dollars, all listing her home address as a heart clinic. And when she couldn't get answers about that, how, why was she getting them? She knew she had better call Beckon to get to the bottom of it. Jay Keith, all three of these forms list her address and the last four digits of her social security number. When she called me, I was determined to help her figure out how this happened and make sure it does not impact her taxes. I'm surprised actually I didn't toss it. Sandra Sanders was stunned when she received two 1099 tax forms listing eye-popping income. And this one, that number, <laughs> whoo, over a million dollars. Yeah, I, I misread it at first. I thought it was like a thousand or, you know, ten thousand dollars. The first two 1099s showed payments of thirty-five thousand three hundred eighty-seven dollars and one million fifty-seven thousand four hundred forty dollars. The next day, another form showed up showing payment received of sixty-nine thousand two hundred three dollars. You're reacting and think, oh my gosh, has my information been compromised? Has it been stolen? All three forms were addressed to Ocala Heart Clinic 2 LLC, but all three listed her address, and the tax identification number lists the last four digits of her Social Security number. The forms came from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Florida, Health Options, Inc., and Florida Blue Medicare, which happens to be Sandra's insurance company. So she called them first. She came back and said, look, I don't know why this is going on, but I can file it as a grievance on your part that you're concerned your health care information may have been compromised. Not happy with that answer, she called me so I can do what I do. I called Florida Blue and was sent this statement. Turns out this was a case of a notice that was mailed out in error. We're looking into the root cause of how this mistake occurred and apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the recipient. There is no further action required on her behalf. Sandra is still puzzled. My concern is that Florida Blue doesn't follow up with the IRS because these forms say that this information has all been sent to the IRS and if that's true they're showing possibly part of my tax number with a million dollar payment. It has the potential of turning into this kind of bureaucratic snowball yeah. that no one has an answer for and keeps pointing you to someone else. And you don't need that. I do not. A spokeswoman for Florida Blue explained that the 1099s are real and the address was the only error. I was told that Florida Blue will manually correct the forms now and send them to the actual address of the heart clinic, which happens to be in Ocala. They also plan to correct the forms with the IRS, so there's nothing linking Sandra to these payments anymore. And of course, like she mentioned there at the end of that story, that's what she's worried about. Of course, is the all the aftermath of this. I can sort of see a mistake happening with one form, mm -hmm. but three forms, is there any idea how the insurance company made the mistake in the first place? Well, I can tell you that's something Florida Blue is investigating now, and it's interesting to note that Sandra is insured by this company and that the tax ID number for the clinic is similar to her Social Security number, but the insurance spokesperson tells me that that could just be a coincidence here. They're not sure how this happened, but they are looking into it, and they're going to try to get to the root cause of it. Hopefully this is the end of it. Fingers yes. crossed for her. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call Bankin. The number is 1-855-BANKIN, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.